Hello champs, once again you welcome to the new lesson. So in this lesson we are going to design a 3D model of water tank. So in this lesson we are going to learn one new tool called offset tool. So we will learn how we can use that tool and how we can design a new 3D model of water tank. So now I have created a new project. Okay. Now to create a water tank, first we are going to create one rectangle. So to create a rectangle, I will go to rectangle tool and select a rectangle tool. From the rectangle tool, I will just go to origin and create one rectangle. Okay. So you can create a rectangle of 200 by 400 centimeters. So manually I will write 200 centimeter comma 400 centimeter and press enter. So you can see a rectangle of 200 by 400 centimeter has been created. To measure this, how we can measure the other side? To measure any side, just select that side. Okay, go here in the tap measure tool. From here, you can see a dimensions tool. Just click on the dimensions tool, and from first point to end point. It will give us the length, it is a 200 centimeter. Similarly, I will select the length of this. To measure the length of this, once again, I will go to the dimensions, select first point and end point and drag it. So see, this is our 400 centimeter and this is a 200 centimeter. Now what we want, we want to create a water tank. So first we are going to use a offset tool and by offset tool we are going to create a border of this rectangle. So for example, offset tool I will find in a push and pull tool and push and pull tool we will find this in a third tool. This is called offset tool. So just click on any of the side and drag it. So when you drag it, you will find a border and we have to create a border inside that shape. This is mostly used to create a walls. Okay. So now we have created a border. Okay. Now what we want, we want to extract this. To extract it, I am going to use push and pull tool. And from the push and pull tool, I am going to give a height. So see, that is the use of the offset tool. I have created a border of this rectangle and now I am extracting it easily. So I will choose a height of 200 centimeter. I will note it down in a distance 200 centimeter and enter. So now the height of this water tank is also 200 centimeter. Let's measure it. To measure it, I will select any of the edge. I will go to dimensions tab and select first point and end point and drag it. You see, now the height is also 200 centimeter. Now we have created a water tank. Okay, see from the top and bottom, we have created a water tank. Now we want to color it. So, how we can color it? To make it color, I am going to use a paint bucket tool and from paint bucket tool first you will see all the colors but I want some special states so for that you click on this browse tool whenever you click on browse tool you will find multiple types of patterns like roofing stones colors 3d printing and too many things stones so here first we are going to fill some water into this so I am going to in a water tab and I am going to select a water. For example, this is I am going to fill. So I will just select this pattern and click on the bottom part. Similarly, on walls, I want this color inside. I will click on this and fill it all the sides internally. You can see now I filled the color. Now outside I want a concrete material. 
for that i will go now asphalt and concrete and from here i am going to choose one shape or one pattern okay so seems like this is okay i will fill this pattern on the top also i am going to fill it so see we have created a water tank from bottom also i am going to fill it so from top and bottom i have created a water tank and colored it now how you can save any of the image first we are going to save our project so just click on save button click on sketch up and i am going to write a name of the project and click on save here now my project saved with the water tank name now if i want to download this model okay if i want to download this model how i can download it for that i have to go in file and from file you have to select download option so from the download you can find these three types of file format skp png and stl if you want to download in a 2d a two dimensional form you can select a png and see from here you can pick a view so from which view you want to download this for example top view bottom view and i want a transparent background so i will click and check on transparent background and i will just click on export png you can see that a model has been exported successfully in this lesson we have learned about how we can use the offset tool how we can create a rectangle and a water tank and we have also learned how we can measure any dimensions now it's your turn to create the same project and submit it on the blue link